Irish Illustrated's one, two, three. Our question today is who are the most underappreciated players on the Notre Dame 2020 squad? For me, uh, I went right to defense, and it's got to be Drew White. If you look at our rankings last year, Tim, in the preseason, we had him stocked back in the middle of the roster. He ended up being a top-10 player. And I, I think a lot of people believe Drew White is just the guy that happens to be the middle linebacker making plays. But, I mean, he was third on the team in third down stops behind guys named Kyle Hamilton and Sean Crawford, who you expect to make third down stops. He was first in stuffs over everybody. Um, and I had him second among returning players behind Owusu Koromoa, who we all think is great in terms of our stat we use drive MVPs. Those are pr three pretty good indicators. He's, he's doing something right out there. Drew White proved himself on an 11 and two football yeah. team. You know, yeah. I mean, he, he, and we had questions. I, you know, I'm sure the coaching staff had questions as well, but he's lived up to it. And, and I agree with you on that. I think offensively is probably Ian Book because so many people don't like the way he plays the game or what's happened in the past. And, his veteran nature coming into this season is so important in Notre Dame. So I would say he, right now he's, he's underrated. I think Robert Haynes, he's underrated as well, kind of taken for granted, played as yeah. a true freshman. Uh, kind of hard to believe that he's already entering his senior year, his last year of competition. But I think he's the, he's clearly, he's the leader of the offensive line. Uh, two-time captain, one of the, one of the few two-time captains. And to a large extent, Jarrett Patterson at center, who, we assumed just beginning with spring last year that, okay, he's a starter and he'll be fine. And, right, and right. that's kind of how the Notre Dame coaching staff treated it. And there's certainly room for improvement for him, but he did. When you consider a, a, a redshirt freshman starting at center, playing all 13 games, starting all 13 games for an 11 and two football team, that's, that's pretty darn good. And I think Hainsey is going to remain undervalued, underrated because he's not going to pop up on draft boards because he doesn't, fit the NFL prototype tackle. He probably, yeah, probably won't play tackle in the NFL. He'll have to move inside to, to center to play. Um, I think on defense, I'd also add a guy that starts ahead of someone I think you like a lot. <laughs> and they're a good tag team, Myron Tagovailo Amosa. He made more plays than I thought when I went back through and looked at all the little extra stats we keep in terms of stuffs and third down plays and, and drive MVPs. But boy, he's got a guy behind him that per snap makes even more plays. Yeah, I think Tiger Valoa Mosa really, really improved as the season progressed. And again, and Jason Admiola just makes plays. Now, we've, we've talked to, to Mike Elson about him. And, you know, there's some nuances there where sometimes right. you have to be one eleventh of the defense. And maybe Jason Admiola isn't always looking at it that way. Yeah. But he is productive. He's around the football. And, um, you know, a, a guy that probably deserves to be on the field a, a lot more yeah. than PA is going to take up most of those snaps. I think we're looking at a tag team effort from them again. And you could – well, I, we definitely are this year. You could have another one next year in 2021 because MTA can come back for a fifth year. I, that might not make Jason quite as happy, but I don't know. You get some snap – you get – that's about 800 perfect snaps out of two guys. You can split them up. <laughs> if you can split them right. up equally, that makes a heck of a position. And I think I think Kurt Heinisch and nose tackle, you know, Jacob Lacey right. started to emerge – I mean, he played all year behind yeah. Heinisch, but really started to emerge, played hurt in November – which is a, a, a real testament to his toughness. But I think Heinish is, is one of those underrated players as well. That's one, two, three from Irish Illustrated.